Okay, so in this part I'm going to show you some final results. You can see here I have our scope with the texture, our magazine with the bullets and without the bullets. We have our grip, of course, also with the texture and our laser sight. So these uh, have a pretty basic texture that I've created. I've also created a dust for each one of these assets. Uh, and uh, of course I've created the similar workflow like for the weapon. Uh, so we are able to create, uh, to change in material instance some parameters and we can tweak uh, things like uh, dust opacity, dust gloss or uh, the dust color or even the color of the um, asset. So for example we are able to change the color of this laser sight to a black or to a white or to a green color for example. So I have here, uh, I've made some versions of the weapon with these parts and this is the black version so you can see we are able to create a dark version of this laser sight and the same thing for grip and the magazine and of course you can see we have some dust applied this one a little bit more extreme example we have some snow or, or the ice uh, this one is uh, our original one something like a forest weapon or something like this and this one for the desert maybe some desert uh, sand colors so you can see we've been able also create all these versions or all these colors using the material instances and I'm going to show you how the shader for the a scope and the laser side looks. So you can see we have a laser side and the scope on the one texture just to save a space. So it's 1K, uh, 200, 2048 pixels per 2040 pixels. So this one is 2K texture. And the same thing like with the main part of our weapon. We are creating this kind of workflow where we are able to control by the vector parameter node the color of our, uh, in this case, laser sight. So this is the mask that is masking the laser sight. We can control dust color and of course some nodes that are going to the uh, roughness channel and we are able to control the dust opacity and the dust gloss and also the emissive channel, emissive color because we have a little light here for the laser and we have this red pipe that is, that is right here. So these nodes are controlling the emissive channel. Let me show you the instance, for example. The instance material. Let's grab this one. So our light is here. And we have laser sight option. And when we it's going to glow and you can see this also in the viewport.
so you can turn on or turn off this light and of course we are able to control the dust the dust gloss which is pretty important because right now we have a dust applied for this particular one so the dust gloss is value is a pretty high and it means that we have almost no reflections going on on the dust surface but when we have something like uh, the snow in this case we want to have some reflections so we are able to control by dust gloss uh, this uh, this value okay but let's turn off the laser sight okay so uh, I want to talk a little bit about the textures right now because of course for the texturing process of these uh, parts like the scope, laser sight, magazine uh, I use DDO and I will show you a few steps how to how I've started the creating of creation process of these textures but right now let's uh, go maybe into some magazine material I will show you how some of these parameters also work you can see our dust gloss right now is set to 2 and when I go down you can see we are getting some more reflections on the surface of the dust so really quickly we can change this dust into something like a snow we can change the opacity of the dust so you can see we have all these controls available magazine basic shader it's pretty simple We can't, co we can't control the uh, color of the magazine because I just want to I want it to be black all the time so I stick with the black color and we can't change this let's open the grip material So the tree, node tree is a little bit bigger because in this case we are able to control the color of the grip. So for example this one we also can change all these parameters like the gloss. You can see right now we have tons of reflections and we can change the color of the dust okay right now I'm going to switch to Photoshop and Dido and I'm going to show you how to create the basic textures for these assets okay so we are in Photoshop right now I'm starting our dedo let's load a mesh in our example let's start with the magazine 
normal map for our magazine. And let's all create albedo and turn off this metalness and albedo for metalness. So we are creating albedo, gloss, ambient occlusion and normal map. All these options, calibration profile, Unreal Engine 4. And we can set a path about in this example. We don't need this. Let's create a base. So let's start a 3 do to preview our model. So some glitches, but right now it works. I have one bullet currently with this version of the mesh, but I'm not too much concerned about this because we are doing the preview of the textures. So for the magazine I choose a smart material and it's called Battle Armor the Battle Armor version 2. So let's hit create. So you can see, and I've been talking about this previously, Dido is an excellent program for creating base textures. And I of course did this in this tutorial. So you can see Dido applied all the textures. Of course it's excellent for the base textures, but I always change uh, tons of things in Photoshop manually. Let's for example open this one and let's make some changes, really basic changes. So I turned off the fine rust. We can go manually change Or even here we can change the color of the metal to something that is darker so it's more like our final magazine and of course these scratches we have to add a lot of scratches we have ability to change this that we have here let's do this and for the scratches I've choose this I believe I've choose this one acid or acid large let's check this probably this one Of course it's not perfect and like I said I've done tons of changes manually in Photoshop adding some uh, fine scratches, handmade scratches or just removing uh, these. And of course we have a dust pass so let's step back and add a material and let's add this dry mood it's excellent for making a dust so let's hit create 
so right now our dust is applied for everything we have to create a mask and uh, we have two fine options we have sand which looks pretty okay and we can duplicate this and change the mask for something different and I've choose uh, sound dirt of course we can tweak this because now it's a little bit heavy and now you see we have some of these small uh, dust uh, parts appearing on our surface so this was these was the, the materials that I've used for creating a material for the uh, magazine So you can see we can always make some changes to these layers generated by the Dido. We can for example go to these base materials and make some changes here for example. We can change the opacity or scale. So you can see we have some some changes going on so let's do a uh, another one a grip was pretty simple for the grip So this was our grip and I've choose just a dark grain plastic and I've changed the scale of this to make it a little bit bigger but you can see our normal map is pretty intensive so let's go to a normal map tab 
and let's turn down the intensity of this texture a little bit down. So now it looks pretty okay. Let's go back to albedo, step back and let's add of course the dust. Our mask and we can choose a sand. So you can see really amazingly quickly we've been able to create a texture for our grip. So for this one I've also made some manual changes. For example this screw I've made it a little bit more metal like and that's it. Let's create right now our scope. So mesh for the laser and scope model. Normal map. So you can see in using Dido the normal map is very important because all the details are there. So for the scope, really simple choice. This material with some scratches we have to add these scratches here we can add a new material uh, for example brushed metal Let's make a mask. So I've used some of these masks and probably some other
So for this one we could also use the sand dirt for light scratches to generate some small scratches on the surface. Maybe this one is not really good, but this paint wear was pretty cool, I think. Oh, I forget we have to invert this texture. So I used I've used this one for sure, but we have to flip this. And of course it took me even few hours to manually add some fine scratches on the surface. So it was really a time consuming process. So let's switch right now to Maya. And you can see I have our weapon here. Let's switch to flat lighting mode. And you can see my albedo textures for the scope. You can see all these fine scratches that I have manually made in Photoshop. So, you know, I'm not showing you how to do this because making, a, for example, this, these light scratches is very simple, but it's really time consuming to do them everywhere. And of course, you can see we have also some dust. So the same stuff we, we, that we've been applying for the uh, grip mm, and magazine, a dried mood material with um, sand alpha. Here is our magazine texture. So also you can see all these I've add manually. I've balanced the, the opacity of the sand. And same thing with the grip, you can see this metal screw. And our laser sight. For the laser side, I've used the same texture in Didu that I've been using for these parts. So it's all mainly the same material, but I've changed some colors and add a dirt. You can see a dirt material, also dried mood, and that's it really.